My name is Joe Fafard, and I'm here at the uh, McMichael Collection in Kleinberg, Ontario. We're uh, having a retrospective exhibition of my work, uh, a selection by Terence Heath, who wrote the book uh, and the catalog for this exhibition. Um, it's about, uh, there must be about 80 pieces in the show. Um, it's selected from, you know, the, a lifetime uh, of work uh, starting from the time when I was uh, in my late 20s till, uh, till now. Um, <clears throat> you could see here uh, various uh, portraits that I've done of uh, Canadians, individuals, relatives, uh, public figures, as well as uh, international figures uh, such as Cézanne, Van Gogh. Uh, when I'm doing a, a portrait in these cases, these, uh, the portraits are three-dimensional. They're, they're, uh, they're small sculptures. I don't like to work life-size with portraits. I don't like the confusion that comes with that, where you mistake real life from art or art for real life. I try to work with the scale that establishes right away that this is an object, this is a three-dimensional object, this represents a certain individual. But when you're doing that, as they have done in painting, you have to speak of body language. And one of the advantages of doing a portrait in sculpture rather than painting, a painting has only one point of view, whereas a sculpture has a myriad points of view that go all the way around the sculpture. So you can actually increase the, uh, the impact in a sculpture that you wouldn't be able to do in a, in a painting. I'm not saying that sculpture is a superior art form to painting. I, I'm insisting on it. <laughs> as well as in this uh, collection of uh, portraits, there are other sculptures that uh, relate more to my interest in sculpture and how uh, to uh, pursue the uh, uh, various um, aspects of sculpture that have always interested me, such as the illusion in the sculpture or the uh, gesture in a sculpture. And I have often used in that uh, pursuit of understanding of the sculptural form, the form of the cow, which has been a, uh, a constant uh, over the years. And that's why people have associated my work often with the image of the cow, which includes the, uh, the uh, large uh, pasture of cows downtown Toronto at the, uh, the Toronto Dominion Centre. Uh, that piece in itself was also a pivotal piece that led me to start experimenting with a different material, the material of bronze. And it's after that moment, which was in 1984, 85, that I set up a uh, bronze foundry in Pence, Saskatchewan to further uh, in my inquiry into uh, this material and this method of working. Uh, and most of the bronze things in the show date from that time. Before that time, I worked mostly in ceramics. Uh, and what I mean by ceramics is fired clay, usually uh, with a little bit of glaze, but often with a lot of uh, uh, acrylic paint on them. Uh, the, these works were uh, one of a kind, whereas when I went into the bronze, I could start doing additions. Uh, that means that you can do the same piece seven times, but have the opportunity during that seven times to do seven different colored pieces. And I've often done that as well. But the uh, the bronze uh, also gave me the opportunity to experiment with many different ways of doing sculpture using sand casting or lost wax casting or just uh, the lost styrofoam process, uh, all kinds of 
different things, and it's always been uh, something that fed me uh, artistically to always consider uh, what is possible if you attempt this, what's possible if you attempt that, and uh, going on from one thing to the other, I was able to find different ways of doing different sculptures that always uh, kept my fascination going with the process and with the, uh, the results. Um, I enjoy always moving on to something else after I found out what can be done with this. I retain it as a word in my vocabulary, but I like to discover new words, so to speak. And uh, that's the way we learn a language. And I think, in a way, art is a language. You don't necessarily discard uh, the first words you learned as a child from your vocabulary. You keep them and use them throughout your life. So that's why I think that even though sculpture and art moves on, we can still work with all the methods that have been developed since classical times. They're just very useful ways to express things. The exhibition which has been organized by the Mackenzie Gallery and the National Gallery is here in Kleinberg for the summer. It opens uh, officially on the 1st of uh, July and stays until the uh, 14th of uh, September. Mm -hmm.